let's get started. Some of the amazing drone shots and the storytelling that you see here every day on Minnesota Live comes from our photojournalist, Bill Mitteke. Well, he flipped spots and he got in front of the camera to share his favorite segment from 2022. Hi, I'm Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Mitteke, and they asked me to pick my favorite story of the year. Uh, picking your favorite story is kind of like picking your favorite child. We all have one, we just don't like to talk about it. Of course, in my family, I'm the favorite. Uh, for this story, my favorite for this last year was uh, Iona's Beach. They also call it the Singing Beach. It's north of Duluth uh, in two harbors. My name is Erica Priest. I am the Regional Naturalist for the Scientific and Natural Areas Program with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. And today we are at Iona's Beach Scientific and Natural Area. We are between Split Rock, Lighthouse State Park, and Gooseberry State Park. So if you see behind me, it's pink. It's almost solid pink, which is not, sometimes you'll see pink uh, scattered on other beaches, but this is one of the few solid pink beaches. These rocks, it's called rhyolite, and what gives it the pink color is uh, feldspar is part of what makes them up. It's an igneous rock, meaning it's volcanic. It came here from a volcano about a billion years ago. So if you see behind me, there's a big pink cliff, which is where most of these rocks came from. The power of Lake Superior knocked them into the uh, lake, tumbled them, made them nice and smooth, and then spat them up on the shore. Um, and they've kind of stayed here and collected here because on the other end of the beach is a really hard basalt sort of feature that kind of catches them and keeps them here. So if you're here on just the right occasion, the lake will come up, grab some of the rocks, and pull them in. And just because of the, the size and uh, what they're made of as they're coming down, it kind of sounds like a wind chime. So basically you want the lake to be moving. <laughs> so a day like today isn't too bad. Those really calm days you aren't going to hear much. Um, so the, the more the lake is moving, the more likely you are to hear the, those tinkling wind chime sounds. And it's very subtle. It's it's not <laughs> it's not a big you know. It's it's more of a subtle. You have to sit and listen to sort of thing. And you can't really see it from the road. It's small. It doesn't take much time to you know visit and enjoy the spot. But it's definitely worth stopping off and seeing. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, Bill did a great job with that, obviously, too. You guys have been there, right? We have. It okay. was a calmer day, so we yeah. didn't hear the sound. But it's still a pretty beach, nonetheless, the, the pink rocks that just go on forever, it seems. I think we I, we went several years ago, but there was so much yelling and fighting going on, I couldn't have a chance to hear the rocks. <laughs> you the, and the, the misses or you no, and the kids? No, the kids. Okay. Always, always <laughs> tussling.